Welcome to the IBM Infosphere Optum Test Data Management Solution video series about masking data using a column map procedure. This video, which is the first in the series, shows how to use a string function to mask or privatize sensitive data by reversing the characters in a specific column. This method of masking data is the simplest and quickest way to transform and privatize data using a string function. Subsequent videos in this series show how to use more advanced techniques to privatize sensitive data such as national ID and credit card numbers. This video is simply intended to illustrate how you can manipulate sensitive, personal or corporate information using a scripting language. This video also shows how to view before and after images of the data you've masked to ensure that the data was masked as requested. Why masking sensitive data is important? Three important reasons to avoid a data breach. The financial cost associated with the breach. The potential government imposed penalties and lawsuits resulting from a breach. The damage to your company's image by adverse publicity. The staggering cost of a data breach. It costs $6.75 million on an average to resolve a breach. A catastrophic breach can cost $31 million or more to resolve, you could potentially lose 34 to 45% of your installed client base following one or more breaches according to an independent study. Masking sensitive data using the Optum solution. The Optum solution provides a number of proven techniques to mask sensitive personal and corporate data such as client and employee names, addresses and phone numbers sensitive financial data and records about you and your clients, credit card numbers, national ID and other personal identifiers. These methods mask sensitive data while ensuring you're left with realistic data in your non-production environments. This video shows how to mask a number by reversing the characters in a column using a Lua string function. Subsequent videos in this series show how to use more advanced techniques to mask sensitive data. Assumptions that we follow. IBM Infosphere Optum solution version 9.1 is installed. An extract file exists containing the data you want to mask. An insert service exists to place the masked data in your target database. A table map that references the column map to mask the data in a column using a string function. This portion of the video shows how to mask phone numbers for US-based customers in the Optum Customers table using a Lua string function. After starting Optum Designer, do the following. Go to the Repository view and expand Optum Repository. Then expand the Objects folder, Masking on Demand, as shown in our example. Next, expand the Column Maps folder to display a list of available column maps. Right-click the name of the column map you want to use and select Open to display the column map in the column map editor. In this example, the column map is named mask.phone. In the column map editor, scroll to the column that you want to mask and select the column by clicking the name in the target column. Then click Add Procedure to open the script editor. In the example we selected, phone number in the target column and then clicked Add Procedure. If you have already created a script and stored it in a text file, open that file and copy the script, as we have done here. Now, paste the script you copied into the column map editor. You also can manually create a script by typing the appropriate information in the column map editor. The Lua code shown in this example has been placed on the phone number column to retrieve and transform the number in that column. This code reverses the digits in each of the three parts of a standard US-based phone separately. Notice that there are two lines of code for each of the three parts that make up a US-based phone number. The first part one line, for example, gets the three-digit area code in the extract file, and the second part 1 line reverses the digits in that portion of the number. The same methodology is used to transform the exchange in part 2 of the number and the last 4 digits in the number 
in part 3. The core value line then inserts dashes between the three parts. The last line of code inserts the transform number in the target column in the target database. To save both the column map and the script, click File, Save All. Then close the script editor and the column map. Now we'll execute the insert service that will invoke the script that we have added to the column map. First, expand the services folder. Then right click the appropriate insert services and select run service. Click the service monitoring tab on the Optum Manager to view the status of the request as shown here. When the status for the service is ended, close Optum Manager. Using Optum's compare functionality, you can quickly display the differences between the original and masked values in the data. As you can see from the comparison, the first phone number in the original extract file is 9513776099. The number is masked in the target database by changing it to 1597739906. Therefore, the phone number was successfully masked by reversing the numbering sequence in each component. Thank you for watching this video about using a Lua string function to reverse the characters in a column to mask sensitive data. To view the sample scripts supplied with the Optum solution, go to the following folder on the drive on which the Optum test data management solution is installed. For more information about the Lua scripting language, go to www.lua.org.